I'm Catherine Muddle, and I'm going to read a little bit of my book, The Good Thieves. So in this scene, the four characters have gone to the Plaza Hotel, and they've just realised that someone is following them. And for this to make sense, you need to know that Samuel is a trapeze artist. Guys, said Samuel. He spoke without moving his lips. I think we should go. Why, said Silk. Are people staring? No. I think someone's recognised us. Us? Recognised Vita. Let's go. But as they moved with the vast glass doors out to the street, the man came back in, with two others following behind, both clad in grey suits. Their eyes were fixed on Vita. She felt her body seize up. Samuel looks from Vita's face to the men and back. Run, he whispered. I've got an idea. Arkady, I need your help. But, began Silk, just run! Samuel had that same sharp, unswerving look that Vita had seen on his face when he had jumped out of the midnight window. Go, he said. He pushed past the other three, rubbing the inside of his elbow, rolling his shoulders as if about to mount the trapeze and fly. Arkady ran after him. Come on, his Silk, I know a way out. And she darted to the left towards the kitchen entrance. Vita ran, trying to keep the weight on her right foot, but three men were coming after them, moving as unobtrusively as they could through the tables. Arkady turned to Samuel. They had three seconds in which to whisper, their eyes on the men. Listo, Sam? Ready, said Samuel. Hep, said Arkady, and he held out two hands, his fingers entwined. Samuel bit his lips together, set his foot on the stirrup of Arkady's hands, and leapt like a ballet dancer into the air. He landed, sitting astride the shoulders of the statue of Hermes, scrambled up into a crouch, leaped again, and seized hold of one of the ropes that bore the autumnal wreaths. Leaves showered across the room. A woman in a pear-dotted beret choked on her tea. A small child cheered. A fluffy white poodle barked. Samuel swung on the rope from the ceiling, casting his weight back and forth, then let go and flew across the room. He pointed his feet, stretched out his arms, and landed in the leaves uppermost of the palm trees, which fell with a crash. It overturned two tables and a visiting Russian ambassador, striking one of the grey-suited men on the shoulder. Several waiters yelled and swore, and staff came running out of the kitchen to find out the cause of the chaos. People were crowding round, but Samuel was up, just dangling himself from the palms, dodging hands, running towards the kitchens. The tattooed man pushed aside a shouting waiter and reached out his hand to grab at Samuel's back. Arkady whistled, and the miniature poodle barked. He pointed, and the man found a small bowl of toothy fluff flying at his upper thigh.